Hi you guys. I'm back with a project that I'm going to do for Christmas. Right now you're looking on my laptop at a picture of Wendy Smedley's blog. Wendy is on a local television show that we have here and she did this little project and showed how she did it and talked about some of the things that you could do with it. I have decided to do this project for Christmas. So I have purchased this box. I will put the links where you can purchase the box underneath this video. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing she did, except mine will have Christmas stuff. Um, I just thought this was really cute. Um, it, it will just be a darling decoration. I plan on hot gluing it all together so it's just one piece. Um, I don't have to keep putting this stuff in it every year, so it'll just wrap it up and store it in a box or something. Anyway, I just thought it was really cute. I thought it'd be cute for kids uh, to look at, to have fun gathering stuff with. So I'm going to, going to show you what the empty um, shadow box look, looks like, so I'll be right back. Okay, this is what the empty box looks like. It's just the bare wood. These shelves are removable, so they're easy to cover with paper or paint. And there's 25 squares in it, so I just think it's so cute. Um, I also went to Hobby Lobby. This week at Hobby Lobby, they have all their miniatures on sale. And this, these are some of the things I'm going to put inside the box. These were all 50% off. We've got L for lights here. P for pine cone, B for bell, and then you can see on this one there's a little train and a snowman and a Santa and a reindeer, some little Christmas trees, some wreaths. These are all 50% off this week and I thought a lot of these would work really well. Here's the nativity. These were really cheap. This one here was only $2.50 with the 50% off. I thought this will be S for snowflake, but these also would be cute to hang on a mini album. They look they look metal, but it says they're polystone. Here's ice cubes. Here's a little bear. I did not get this bear in the Christmas section. It was back with the miniature stuff. Here's D for drum, H for holly. There's just a lot of cute stuff. They also have their stamps on sale and I got this pretty Santa stamp and I also got this stamp. It's upside down. And then they have um, all their other Christmas stuff for 40% off. I got this Rick Rack. I got this fence. This was a good deal. This was $1.50 and you get four strips of this fencing. So for all of you who are looking for fencing for your Halloween minis, try Hobby Lobby. And then I got this little package. It's got a mitten in it and um, a mailbox and a boot. So um, it would be really fun to just go on a hunt with your kids or your grandkids and look for all this stuff. Um, so I will be back later to show you my work in progress. Okay you guys, I've painted my box green. Um, what I used was this Metallics, um, it's called Festive Green. It's gorgeous, it's got kind of a gold glimmer to it and it turned out really pretty, so I'm real happy with that. Now I'm in the process of covering the um, slats, and I wanted to show you on these slats, um, you're going to put four of them, you're going to cover four of them, so that the flat part here, the, the unnotched edge, um, is going to go out on the horizontal portion. But on the vertical portion, 
the slots are going to be going this way because then the flat piece slides in to put it together. So you're going to cover four of them so the edge is nice and covered like this and then you're going to cover four of them with this edge, the notched edge. And what I did was I have glued, I glued the, the back of this board here with Mod Podge. I did try the Elmer's glue. I did not like the Elmer's glue. It bubbled the paper. But I, I Mod Podged it and I glued it down. And then I um, took my craft knife and I just cut, cut these out with my craft knife as it, as it started to dry and then just pop this out. And I'm going to do that on all four of them. I haven't done that one yet. And then I'm going to put Mod Podge all the way down here and on the top of this. Then I'm going to fold it over and press out all the bubbles and get it all straightened out. And then I'm going to take my craft knife and cut this out too. Um, I don't think this has to be perfect. That way I will have the notches cut out on here and it will it will look finished. You could really do this anyway. But just remember they aren't all covered the same. They'll be covered four four with the flat edge and four with the notched edge going out. And I've just decided to use several different colors of or designer paper, just several different ones to give it more of a visual interest. So um that's how I covered the shelves. Okay, now you can see that I've got all my shelves put in. Um, that part was a little tricky. I put it all together and then I tried to lay it in the box and it wouldn't fit. So I had to put each slat in separately into the box. And then what I've done is I've just taken my Scrabble pieces. Nothing is glued down. Some of these um, I'll probably glue up here, some I'll glue down in this corner, some I might glue in the middle. It just depends on how it's all arranged when I get everything together. But I basically I am just in the process of collecting right now. And so I have not hot glued anything in yet. This is a project that's not going to be done very quickly because I'm going to have to go on the search and and keep looking for stuff. But I've had fun doing it. It really didn't take a long time. Um, when I get out my Christmas decorations I'm sure I'll find a few more things to go in it and then before I put it away um, for next year I'll make sure everything's secured with hot glue and, and glued all together. So um, it's been a really fun project. I might attempt another one sometime. It I'm thinking about maybe doing one with just small objects and attaching a magnifying glass to the top of it and doing like an I spy thing. That'd be such a fun little thing for kids. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my project and we'll see you next time.